Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. This is Monica, and this reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're covering approximately the next 14 days. Money, love, career, any spirit messages that want to come through. We're jumping in here with the Power of Surrender cards. All right, Virgo, surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Nice. Surrender to success. And we have surrender to what is, to what is right now in the present moment. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. Didn't we get something about resistance here? Hold on. Yeah, don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. And <clears throat> instead of fighting it, flow with what is. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as is will bring you peace. All right, very nice. Okay, so let's see what we have from the Tarot of a Moon Garden for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So remember to check your other signs and always go with your intuition as to which messages are meant for you. Ooh, this is coming out a lot today. Look at that. That card definitely wanted to come out. The Ten of Pentacles. So if you are striving to build money, security for not only yourself, but your family, surrender to success. You are meant to succeed. You can do this, okay? Even if some inheritance money comes your way, you'll know what to do with that to build off of. So that inheritance won't be it. That won't be the bottom line. That's it. There's nothing else. You know, you will do the right thing with it so that it can grow. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel is turning in the direction that you want as long as you surrender to what the circumstances are currently right now and work with what is. Work with what you have before you and try not to resist accepting that, okay? So when you resist, <clears throat> When you resist, that wheel of fortune might get stuck or start going the other way, start backpedaling. We don't want that to happen. So it's important to accept accept certain circumstances as they are because they're not likely to change. The only thing that can change is you and your own actions and what you choose to do with your free will. And then that wheel of fortune, good luck, prosperity, abundance will turn in the direction that you want. And if you want that to happen, if you want that to happen, go go with that flow. That doesn't mean to agree with what other people say if it doesn't suit you. It doesn't mean that. You need to just accept certain things and don't force, you know, what obviously, you know, isn't going to happen. But find other ways to make what you want to happen happen. All right, Virgo. Look at this, Surrender to Success and Queen of Swords. So this is making a decision. It's like, it's not wishy-washy anymore. You're not being wishy-washy anymore. You're like, okay, I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm going to make a decision here. It's either this way or that way. I'm not going to be stuck in the middle. And when I make this decision, when I accept what I need to accept to move forward, to progress, it's going to lead me to this money, this financial security, this peace, good health. I'm not going to think about the roadblocks of the past anymore and beat myself up about that. Okay, you should be saying this to yourself. I'm going to say, no, you know, those roadblocks happened but I went a different way. I made this decision and that's how I found my peace, my abundance, my security. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune and the Empress, look, we have more abundance here. All right, so Virgo, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra as well, or you could have you know that strong in your chart, but not necessarily. So the Empress is like, like I can picture her riding that Wheel of Fortune merry-go-round we see in the imagery in this deck. She's she's the queen. She's happy. Um, she's the empress, not the queen. 
nothing's going to drag her down. Nothing's going to make her backpedal. So this is the energy that you need to strive to embrace Virgo. <clears throat> There's something better for you than, I know I just said this to another sign. There's something better for you than what you were seeking and maybe blocked from. So let that go. <clears throat> You're meant to be in the Empress energy with you know wishes and dreams you know coming true and having the confidence that this will be lasting <clears throat> all right Virgo <clears throat> okay we have the double card so be careful of negative ego <clears throat> be careful of self-doubt when you have self-doubt coming in tell yourself that's a lie that's a lie don't listen to it. <clears throat> okay, Wheel of Fortune Empress is being clarified by the Strength card. Very nice. Look at all of this major arcana right here. Wheel of Fortune Empress and Strength all in the same row here. So Virgo, you're finding your strength, um, learning that you deserve, realizing how good and freeing it is to surrender to the fact that you're being blocked from something and realizing that whatever you're being blocked from is actually a blessing in disguise there's a better path for you a better way easier happier healthier way could be coming soon okay because leo is well it's not just august but i'm feeling august okay So Leo season is mid-July, mid-August, but I'm feeling eight, number eight, and August for something significant for someone listening. <clears throat> Let's see what the spirit of the animals has to say here. You got dolphin and play. Okay. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Yeah. Inhale confidence, exhale fear. You don't want false confidence, you want true confidence, right? Dive into your wisdom and go with the flow. Yes, see, that keeps being validated. You have inner wisdom, Leo. You know what to do with Leo. Leo season, I'm talking about Virgo. You have inner wisdom. You know what to do. Get away from the self-doubt or outsiders um, trying to draw you away from taking care of yourself, okay? Um, don't let them play on your good nature, okay? All right, Virgo, thank you so much for being here. The link to my Patreon page is below. That will take you to my waiting list. There will be exclusive readings for members only there. And if this reading resonated, please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And hit subscribe and all notifications. That way you won't miss anything. And I will see you again soon.